bright duty every student matters now it is uh, we need to solve the subtraction questions and this is 18.25 from 20.75 so 20.75 comes at first and then we need to take away 18.25 from this right so simple 5 take away 5 is 0 7 take away 2 is 5 then it's a point zero take away eight we can't do this so we need to carry a number we need to borrow a number this becomes 10 this becomes eight so here comes two and one take away one is zero so what is the amount left it is two rupees and 50 paise clear the next one we need to take away 202.50 meters from 250 meters so let us write it down 250 right we can put two zeros after it it won't make any difference it will just help us to write the numbers correctly then it is 202.54 clear so we do the takeaway part now so for zero takeaway uh, four we can't do this so we borrow from the next next is all already zero here then we borrow from the next it's again zero so we borrow from the next number here it will be a four then here it will give it to this number it will be 1 so it will be 10 but we need to give it to the next number so directly i'm writing 9 here 9 here and 1 here okay now 10 take away 4 is 6 9 take away 5 is 4 then 9 take away 2 is 7 then 4 take away 0 is a 4 and 2 take away 2 is a 0 right then what do we need? We need to line up the decimal point where it is. So it's here. So we just put a decimal point right here. So it is 47.46 meters. Right? Moving ahead to the C part of this question. It is this particular amount 5.36 from 8.40. We need to take away. So let us write it down. It is 8.40. Take away 5.36. So 0 take away 6 we can't do so we carry the number from here this is 4 this comes out to be 0 and this comes out to be 3 so the answer is the answer is 3 rupees and 4 pesa moving to the next part the d part here we need to take away 202.051 kilo, kilometers from 5.206 kilometers so it is 5.206 and this is 2.051 this comes of 5 this comes of 5 here comes a 1 and here comes a 3 so what is the answer the answer is 3.155 kilometers the last one here 2.107 this is in kilograms take away 0 0.314 so 7 take away take away 4 3 0 take away 1 we can't do so it is 10 take away 1 is 9 0 take away 3 we can't do so it is 10 take away 3 is 7 and here comes 1 and this is in kilograms so we have just put the decimal where it is in the line and one thing I want you to be very careful with that every time you're solving any kind of question, if a unit is mentioned there, like for example, in the C part, we are working with money, so it's rupees. Then in the second one, the D part, it is kilometers. So we have right kilometers in the answer as well. And the last one was in kilograms, so we write the kg at the end. So every time you must write what the unit is or else half of your marks will go away, right? Now let us do these questions here. It says find the value so 9.756 take away 6.28 we don't have a from so don't interchange the numbers it's the number like it is written okay so take away 6.28 if you want you can put a zero here so this comes to zero five take away eight we can't do so this becomes a six this becomes 15 so 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 7 6 take away 2 is a 4 and here comes a 3. So this is our answer and here it's no unit mentioned in the question. So you don't have to write anything else. Moving to the next one. It is 18.5 take away 6.79. For our convenience we are putting a 0 after 5. Okay. 
So this comes four, here comes one. So 10 take away nine is one, four take away seven, we can't do. We make this is seven, this comes 14. 14 take away seven is seven. Seven take away six is one, and here comes a one. So the answer is 11.71. Now the next part, it is 21.05. Take away 15.27. So now this becomes a 0, this becomes a 9, this becomes a 1. So here it is 8, here it is 7, here comes 5, and here comes a 0. So the answer is 5.78. The next one, 11.6. I'm putting zeros for my convenience to do the subtraction here. So it's 8, 4, 7. Again, we need to borrow the number. So 10 take away 7 is 3, 9 take away 4 is 5, 5 take away 8 we can't do, we take the number from the next number. So it is again 15, so 15 take away 8 is 7, then we have got 10 take away 9 is 1. So the answer is 1.753. I hope these questions are simple and they are clear where we need to put the decimal point and how we are borrowing the number from the next number, right? Now the next one, it's a word problem here. It says that Raju bought a book of rupees 35 and 65 paise. He gave 50 rupees to the shopkeeper. How much money he did he get back from the shopkeeper? I hope the question is clear. Raju bought a book and we are given the uh, amount of the book. So he gave this much amount to the, uh, he bought a book and this was the cost of the book. 35.65, this is the cost of the book. He gave to the shop. Keeper. So probably he was having a note that was that was of denotion, denomination 50, right? So you go to a shopkeeper, you give him a note of 50 rupees and the amount of the book was 35.65. So what amount is he going to give you back? He's going to subtract the given amount that is the cost of the book from the amount that you are giving him, right? So let us write it down that um, total amount Raju gave to the book shopkeeper that is 50 rupees right if I want I can put zeros for my convenience cost of book is rupees 35 and 65 paise right so the amount that he's going to get back money he got back so this is the amount that he's going to get back so it is rupees let us do the subtraction so zero take away five we can't do so let us borrow from here it comes nine nine and one so this is a five this is three this is a four and this is a one so what is the total amount that he has got back it is rupees 14 and 35 paise moving ahead to the next question it says rani had Rupees 18 and 50 paise. This is the amount she had. Okay, this is the total amount she had. She bought one ice cream for 11 rupees and 75 paise. So this is the amount that she has spent. Okay, so that means this amount needs to be reduced. How much money is she having now? So amount, amount, Rani had. So this is the total amount she had. That was 18.5. Five zero. This is the decimal point, right? So she bought ice cream. So cost of ice cream is equal to rupees. What is it? Eleven point seven five. This is the decimal point lined up. So amount she is left with. So amount Rani is left with. So what amount is it? Let us do the subtraction to get the amount. So 0 take away 5 we can't do. We borrow the number here. So it comes 5. 4 take away 7 we can't do. So we borrow a number from here. So 14 take away 7 is 7. That we have a decimal point lined up. Then 7 take away 1 is 6. And then 1 take away 1 is 0. So what is the amount that she is left with? She is left with rupees 6.75. Clear? Now comes the next question. It says Tina had 20 meter and 5 centimeter long cloth. She cut 
4 meter and 50 centimeter length of cloth from this for making a curtain. How much cloth is she left with? Right? So, total. So, length of the cloth, total length that we have is 20 meters and 5 centimeters. We can convert this into meters itself. 1 meter is 100 centimeters. So, we need to divide 5 by 100. So, it will be instead of writing this, I am just directly writing it into meters. So, it is 20.05 centimeters, right? You're not centimeters, it is in meters now. Now, uh, the length she cut out. So, length she cut out is equal to, it is 4 meters and 50 centimeters. So, it is 4.50 meters again. Then, what is she left with? She is left with, let us do the subtraction to get to the answer. So, it is 5 take away 0 is a 5. 0 take away 5 we can't do. So, we borrow the number here. So, 10 take away 5 is a 5. 9 take away 4 is a 5. And 1 take away nothing is 1. So, what are we left with? We are left with 15.55 meter. Or we can write this as the answer is 15 meters, 55 centimeters. Right? Now, the next one. It says Namita travels 20 kilometers and 50 meters every day. Out of this, she travels 10 kilometers, 200 meters by bus and the rest by auto. The total distance we need to find what is left that she traveled by auto. So total distance. Total distance that we have is 20 kilometers and 50 meters. So 1 kilometer equals 1000 meters. So 50 divided by 1000. Let us write it down. So it is 20.050 in kilometers. Clear? Then the distance that she has traveled by bus. So distance traveled by bus. So what is the distance traveled by bus? It is 10 kilometers and 200 meters. So now converting it all into kilometers, 200 divided by 1000 is 0 0.0. 0 0.200 um, right now the distance left by uh, travel by bus so let's write distance traveled by auto that is the left part of a journey so how can we do we do the subtraction 0 take away 0 is a 0 5 take away 0 is a 5 0 take away 2 we can't do. So we borrow the number from here. It comes 9. Here comes 10. So 10 take away 2 is 8. 9 take away 0 is a 9. 1 take away 1 is a 0. So what is the distance? The distance is 9.850 kilometers or we can write this as 9 kilometers and 850 meters. Very careful with the units. Okay. Now, let us solve the last question of this lesson. Akash bought vegetables weighing 10 kilograms. This is the total weight. Out of this, 3 kilograms, 500 grams is onion, 2 kilograms, 75 grams is tomatoes, and the rest is potatoes. What is the weight of the potatoes? I hope the question is clear. We have got, suppose you are carrying a bag of 10 kgs. This is the total bag. In this bag, you have got three items. Okay, let us just draw this in order to imagine what we are going to do. This is the total bag and this total bag weighs 10 kilograms. Okay, out of the 10 kilograms, we have got 3 kilograms and 500 grams. This is for onions we have got. Okay, then now suppose we have got another thing that is 2 kilograms and 75 grams and this is for tomatoes now we need to find whatever is left here so whatever is left here say this is what is left everything that makes a total of 10 kilograms say this is all potatoes so we need to find the weight of the potatoes i hope it is clear what we are going to find we are going to find everything that is that is this particular area which is not filled, okay? Out of 10 kgs, we were given some of the weight, which is the weight of onions and the tomatoes. 
The rest of weight we need to do. How we do this? From 10 kgs, we subtract the weight of onions and we subtract the weight of tomatoes. So what we'll be left with is all that weighs for the potatoes. Clear? So let us do this in steps. So first of all, either what we can do, either we can do 10, that is in kilograms. So take away 3 kilograms, 500 grams. First we do this and then whatever the answer comes out to be, from that answer we take away 2 kilograms and 75 grams. So what will be left, that would be the answer. This is one method. Or else what we can do, we can simply add the weight of these two things. That is, we can add the weight of onions and we can add the weight of tomatoes. We are adding these two and from the total, we'll take away whatever the total is. So this is also will give the same answer. So let us use this particular method to solve this question. Okay. So what are we doing? We are going to add the weight of onions and tomatoes at first. So weight of onions it is 3 kgs and 500 grams so it is 3.500 kilograms now weight of tomatoes it is 2.075 kilograms right because it was 75 grams dividing it by 1000 so what is the total of it we are finding the total of what amount was already in the bag so here we are going to add this amount. So here comes a 5, here comes a 7, here comes a 5, here comes a 5. Okay, so this is the amount that is the total amount of onions and to put, uh, tomatoes. Now we need to find the amount of uh, potatoes that is there. So weight of potatoes. How we are going to do this? From the total weight that is... 10 kilograms, we need to take away 5.575 kilograms. Is this right? Is this clear how we have worked? Now let us do this question here. I'll just take this rough space to do this. So let me do it here. 10.000. I'm just putting this 000 for my convenience. So this is from here 5.575. I need to take away. So the answer is just 5, 7, 5. So this comes as 0, 9, 9, 9 and 1. So this is a 5, this is a 2, this is a 4 and this is a 4. So the total amount of potatoes was there was 4 kilograms and 425 grams. Clear? I hope you are clear with how we have worked all these questions and I hope now that you are confident to add the decimal numbers and you are confident to do the subtraction of decimal numbers using the place value charts without using the place value charts and doing the word problems as well. And with this, we have finished our lesson of adding and subtracting decimal numbers and also we have completed the lesson of decimals itself.